Hey guys, welcome back. I'm CJ with MI Gaming, back in God of War Ragnarok with our man Kratos and Atreus. But right now Atreus is sleeping in the pantry, or just hanging out in the pantry. Because we are shacking up with our man Sindri and Brock over there who's doing a little, little housekeeping for us. We've upgraded our equipment as best we can. Uh, we are on the run from Thor at the moment. We had quite the little battle with him, and he got the upper hand on us. Uh, so we still have quite the upgrade to do in order to take down Thor and whatever else Odin may throw at us. So we are done shacking up here. We're going to go see what Sentry needs, or at least next moves for Kratos and Atreus. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Derlin. Who's Derlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. The hell is Rebel it? Rebel leader? Derlin? Huh. If that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your bean, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will you help us or not? No, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go meet this crankier than Brock dwarf, shall we, son? You hear that? What? Are those some kind of dragons? Whoa. They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. They're pretty big, son. They don't look friendly, either. Best just leave them alone. We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I... Uh... Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, mm. oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> oh, Mimir. I'm sorry, buddy. Open. Open now. You guys are real assholes, you know I that. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it. Good. Now, release! Still on poison. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Come here, Mamir. Frostwolf of eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. I need to adjust. <gasps> there. That should do it. <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first. <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> you didn't damage Mimir, did you? I still need him. You okay, buddy? The Bifrost is broken. 
Now that we reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, <laughs> good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Yeah. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks! Could have just said the wet century. Didn't have to bring moist into this. Moist. How dare you? Ooh. Whoa. Kind of like feel this. That? What's that like? Anything. E everything. It's warm. Warm. Ah. Uh, uh huh. Hold on there, son. Oh! One less every spy. Yeah, I can't have a spy already. We can Jeez. probably use his boat. If I can just get it free. All right, give me a moment. Let me let me take a look around. <laughs> ah! Son, what are you doing? Why are these things so fast? Hmm. On your left! Ooh, I don't like these things. Slippery bastards. I see we're already off to a lively start. Atreus. No kidding. You dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. Mm. Take that as a no. But. Kratos is not exactly one to really she be never bringing asked up Mom the past. About what you used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. <laughs> I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. <gasps> Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Whoa! What are these? Well, whatever it is, it's dead. Is this the adult form? The lizard coat. to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Svartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Hmm. <laughs> if 
Oh wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. That's sarcasm. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Hmm. Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellir, brothers. Hmm. Not too many people here, though. Dwarves. Okay, no, here's a couple. Hey, dwarves! Hmm. Oh. They look a little skittish. They're, uh, running away. an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why hold that for us, though? They are scared. Hmm. That's no good. Well, they have a right to be scared. I can kill entire cities. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Here's the dock. My fellow dwarves, we mean you no harm unless you mean me harm. Then I mean hey, all the harm. Can we talk to we you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Hmm. And hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Poor fear. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, why can't you vouch for us, huh? Tell everyone there's nothing to fear. Shopping list. Interesting. What you got for us? What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. These cobblestones would talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it going to be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. Take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Skialfa. Ski 
alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half Ooh, the creatures for all okay, these meat earlier. How was I supposed to know they were there? Watch your light! Kill them all. Okay, so, Zerlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. He's tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your hip. <clears throat> yeah, very true. None taken. Fair point, though. All very right. Well. Here's your chance to shine. I think that's him. Wow, oh, wow, well, wow. Well. The only one in the shop. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, you're planning on killing me. At least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Durlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Durlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess. What mess? Later, brother. What? <laughs> Did you throw up? I wish to hear this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Hmm. So you did something in the past, huh? Sure, we can fix that. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Hmm. Okay, well, thanks. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following you. Was being the key word here, little brother. Well, let's get in the boat, boy. It's been fun. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. Sure. Check hey out man, down here. Were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, 
I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Hmm. What Anything is that? in here? Dead. Huh. There's such a big bay. There's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. No, it's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need... I need... To set right a very old wrong. Sure. In due time, buddy. Oh, what do we have here? What these rocker holes? Oh, man. You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. Come on, son, help me out here. These guys are tough. You won't be hearing any more from those <laughs> Screw those. Bullseye. Behind the door. A prisoner. Of sorts. <clears throat> All right, Mamir, let's see what happens. agreed to the deal with Asgard. Why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Perhaps so. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's Trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. These rigs come to be. I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know. But I have to try something. Think you could break through the ground from up there? <laughs> Oh, what do we have here? Oh, screw this. Yeah, I get a taste of your medicine here, big guy. On your left! Behind you, father! Toad here. 
That's the key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not say? I just need you to trust me. Just put the key into that lock, brother. Who'd you lock up, man? There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. Mm. Mm. This yeah. seems like a trap, my mirror. the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. The hell is it? Is that a whale? Goodness, Mamir, you monster. What is this? A loon bocker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked, I see. That it did. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. Too. If you could, uh. easy, easy. That creature's hurting, but we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. You're angry with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. <laughs> Why enslave the creature? Its fat was a good source of oil. For Odin's lanterns. Oil? For lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. <laughs> Fen, if you could. I know. Just the tail left now. Oh, we gotta get that, gotta get that. Behind you! Look out! You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No. I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. 
Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. The tail must be chained as well. Sliding down that rope should take us where we need to go. Encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face to face, brother? This creature, the mining rigs, their mistakes, Vimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's ah, not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. Blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But... No. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off. Scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. But that's not enough. It seldom is. And with that final chat with our buddy Willie over there, we have freed him from his chains. But the chains are embedded into his soul, so unfortunately Willie will be staying put, at least until he sees fit to leave one day. But, Mimir, we have saved your buddy, so I think on the next time we will continue shutting down your smokestacks, collecting that ore, upgrading our stuff, and moving on to see if we can find Tyr. But until then, thank you for joining. I'm CJ with MI Gaming with Kratos and Atreus. And we will see you on the next part. Yeah.